So, hi. Story time with Loki. I still have trouble reading out loud, so when I try, I may stutter a lot. I may have some problems. It's it's not pretty. Um, what I want to do with this series, I figure I might as well do an introduction about it. Yes, I did do a quick reading um, one of the days. Um, the Poetic Edda is a story of the gods and the heroes of Nordic mythology. It is not the only book out there for this. There's a few other storybooks and whatnot. Um, this one is just more of a completed one from what I've been told. I was going to read about uh, Loki's taunts uh, when he was thrown out of the Feast of the Gods and Goddesses for killing a servant, which, I mean, it's Loki. What do you expect when he's pissed? And, of course, he goes back in, he insults them, then gets in trouble with Odin, and then goes off and does a few things, and gets drunk, insults people. It is about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pages long, and there's a lot of stories in here that are really long that is going to take me some time to read, so I found that it probably is going to be easier for me to jump around and do stories that way and choose ones that are easy for me to read now before I get into the longer, more in-depth ones. Because uh, it does have the thief, the theft of uh, <sighs> Thor's hammer. Mjolnir. And, uh, Yes, up to, um, up to, uh, the wedding. That one actually is four pages, so let me read that one instead. So, this can be found on page 115 of this version of the Poetic Edda. Uh... Thadimin Skulls, or I'm probably pronouncing this horribly wrong. The Theft of Melnir. Thor was angry when he awoke and found his hammer had gone missing. His once has his bread, his once his head. The great Thor scuffled around. And the first thing he said was, Listen to me, Loki. Listen to this. Something never know. Uh, something never know. Something never knows before in Midgar or Asgard has happened. Melnir has been. Um, Melnir's been stolen. With, uh, with they went to. Uh, with um, heh, they went to Freya's lovely home. And the, for the first time, Loki said. Was a f thing that Loki said was, Fredjet, would you uh, lend me your Ferris suit to help Thor get uh, your feathered suit to help me get Thor's hammer back? Fredjet said, Sorry, Freya. Sorry. It's Freya, not Fredjet. Sorry. How they have it written in here, I do mispronounce some things and screw up on names. I apologize. I would give it to you, even if I would get. Uh, I would give it to you, even if it was made of gold. I would loan it to you, even if it was made of silver. Then, Loki floss, uh, flew, wearing Frigid's feathered suit. The feathers whispered in the air. Telling, um, till he left Asgard and came within Jordanheim. There, Triment sat on a mount, the king of giants. He was f uh, feathered gold, uh, feathering gold chains on his dog's necks 
and he was combing their manes of the and combing the manes of his horses. Theron said, "What news of the gods? What news of the elves? Why have you come alone to Jotunheim, Loki?" Loki said, "Bad news from the gods. Bad news from the elves." Uh, have you hidden uh, the mighty Thor's hammer? Theron said, I, I have hidden the mighty Thor's hammers eight miles beneath the earth. No one will ever see that hammer again unless Freya is brought to me as my bride. So, for you all who don't know, for some reason, all the giants, which, mind you, most of them aren't those big, huge, hulking kind of giants we see in games and whatnot. It actually just, it means something completely different in mythology, especially for Yodens. Um, I was told it, I just have to uh, relook it up. But, uh, they have this thing for Freya. Because she's strong, she's beautiful, she's powerful. Then she's a woman, so they all want her. Unfortunately for her, but her and her kittens are not for them. So this is a recurring thing that you will find in Nordic mythology. People will do dumb shit to try to get her. And Loki will promise dumb shit to get things back or to get things done. Mostly to get things back or to get in trouble. Then Loki flew, wearing the suit of feathers. The feathers whispered in the air till he left Jotunheim and came to Asgard. He met Thor in the center of Asgard, and the first thing that he said was, Were your efforts rewarded on your journey? Well, the first thing Thor said was, Were your efforts rewarded on your journey? Say uh, in the air and tell me what news you have. Stories are often forgotten when the teller sits down, and lies are often told when people lie down. Loki said, My efforts were rewarded with this news. There on the King Amun's giants has your hammer. No one will ever find the hammer again unless Freya is brought to him as a bride. With that, uh, then they went to the lovely Freya, and the first things, and uh, first thing, Thor said was, "Freya, put on a wedding dress." The two of us, uh, men, um, two of us, man and woman, are going to Jotunheim. Freya got angry, uh, snorting and uh, snorting so hard that the homes of the gods shook all around them. Her necklace, Bashan, trembled upon her neck. Her necklace, I can't pronounce the name of it, sorry, trembled on her neck. Why would, uh, they would call me a loose, a loose, a lewd, a loose woman, if I went with you to Jotunheim. So all the gods met in confidence, all the goddesses met in conference. All the mighty gods spoke a long, a long time ab about how to get the mighty Thor's hammers back. Handel spoke, uh, handsome of gods. Ha the, uh, then Handel spoke, the hands, hand strong of the gods. As one of the Valar, he could see into the future. Let's put a wedding dress on Thor! Let him wear uh, Freya's necklace, the Brighterman. Let's hang a key from his belt. Let's drape uh, a woman's dress down to his knees. Let's place jewels on his chest and wrap a pretty headdress around his head. Then Thor, the strongest of God, smokes. All the Aesirs would call me a sissy if I let you put a wedding dress on me. 
Then Loki, the son of Lofi, spoke. Silence, Thor. No more than they already talk. Unless uh, you get uh, your hammer back, the giants will soon live in Asgard. Believe it or not, Loki did not want the giants living in Asgard. Because that would ruin his fun. A lot of stuff that he did was because it was his fun. Not because he was worried about it. No, he was having fun. <sighs> so then, put uh, so they put a wedding dress on Thor, placed a uh, burning bergaman. Yeah, we're calling it bergaman. Fuck it. On his neck. Put a chain of jingly keys as a belt. Draped a woman's dress down to his knees. Played, uh, placed jewelry on his chest. Wrapped his uh, wrapped in a pretty headdress around his head. Then Loki, the son of Lafi, said, Now I'll go as your serving woman. The two of us, men and man and woman, are going to Jotunheim. Then they took Thor's goats and made them pull the wagon, climbing the mount, uh, mountain, uh, mountains clambered, and the grounds beat the flames as Odin's son drove to Jotunheim in a dress. Thus Thor, uh, Veron, the king of giants, spoke. Send up, send up giants, sp uh, spread hay on the, uh, on the se seats, bringing Freya, the daughter of Norges, Lord of the North, Nor, Northran, close to me as my bride. Let's giggle. Here at my home, we giants have golden horn cows and black oxen for our dinner. We have plenty of treasures to place of necklaces, all the things I think you'll lack my Freya. The only thing I lack is Freya. Early that evening, the giants gathered El and brought them all, all of his own. All on his own, Thor ate an ox, ate salmon, all delicate uh, refinery for, uh, for the woman, and drank three whole kegs of mead. He's gonna need it. <laughs> Then Thanos, Theron, the king of giants, spoke. Who has ever seen a woman who can eat like this? I've never saw a woman uh, take bites as big, nor a girl who drinks so much mead. But Loki, Thor's clever bridesmaid. Knock it off. Found words to answer the giants' suspicions. Freya could not eat at all these eight nights. They're just that's just how eager she is to come to Jodenheim. Let me reread that. <clears throat> Thea could not eat for the uh, for all those eight nights. That's how eager she was to come to Jodenheim. Mind you Loki's in the disguise of a woman right now. The giant lifted the veil, hoping for a kiss, but then he leaped back with a full length of hell. Why are Freya's eyes focused so, why it so fierce and grim? I've seen, uh, see me in these fires and burns in the eyes. But Loki, uh, Thor's clever bridesmaid, found words to answer the giant's suspicion. Freya could not sleep all those eight nights. They just... How eager she was to come to Jotunheim. Then the giant's poor sister came in. She thought she would claim the, cus uh, the customary gift for the br bride. From the bride. Give me some of your gold rings. If you want to win my love, my affection... And a good welcome from me. Thinus, king of the gods, spoke. Bring in the hammer to bless the bride. 
they um, Mjolnir on the bride's knees. May Vav, God, a goddess of wedding vows, bless us. The Thor then thought mightily, uh, then taught minded fighter, laughed with a full heart, grasped his hammer. First he killed Thurman, uh, Thurman, king of the gods. Yeah, this is why you don't put a hammer on anyone's lap. But if you want to know the Nord tradition on that one, I'll explain it later. <sighs> then he crippled all the giant's kin. Then he killed the giant's older sister, the one who had asked him for the courtesy gift, uh, the customary gifts. She received a blow instead of money, a hammer to the head instead of gold rings, and thus the way of the Odin son got his hammer back. So, with that one, obviously I did stop a little bit and explain a few things and have to rebring one or two things. Again, I suck at pronouncing stuff, pronunciating stuff, and reading out loud. You guys are helping me. Um, in the story, the quick cliff notes, he got his hammer stolen from him while he was asleep. And Loki went with him to get him back. The gods came up with the idea of throwing him in a dress. It worked out pretty well. The fact that the giants are that stupid, uh, stupid to mistake him for Freya is hilarious and makes people wonder what Freya really looks like if Thor can be mistaken for her. But at the same note, the giants weren't known for their intelligence. They just knew of her beauty, but did not know of very much of her features that I'm aware of. Um, so the customary hammer in the lap, you'll see at a lot of Newark weddings, is either in the lap or on the man's belt buckle. It's supposed to bless the wedding with strength and fertility because Thor is also a god of fertility. I can't make this up. I wish I could. Um, yeah. Apparently it puts a new spin on, um, boom, you're pregnant. But here's a hammer. Oh, look, you're pregnant. Um, but he did end up kill. Um, one story has him killing him at the wedding and then killing everyone there, which was pretty much this one. There's another one where he killed him in the bedchambers, then killed everyone else. Uh, it's hit or miss uh, which version you read or find, but those are the two more popular ones. Uh, the one that's more known is the one where he just kills him at the wedding. Excuse me. Uh, but he got his hammer back. But one of the things that is always constant in the story is the person who it was. The fact that it was snuckily stolen. The fact that Loki was there. And the fact that Thor is always in a dress. The gods like to pick on each other. So Thor got a lot of got made fun of a lot when it came to some things. Some people thought he was a dunderhead. Some people thought he was a jerk. Other people like to call him a sissy just to get him wild up. Like anyone would with their brothers or friends. Um, it shows that the gods are not immune to joking. Uh, but it also shows that Mjolnir, unlike what you hear in the comic books, where only Thor can wield it, or the worthy of being Thor can wield it. In all retrospect, in the mythology, anyone can wield that hammer. Just not always the power behind it. That's where that worthy thing comes, is the power that's in it. But Thor is the one who controls the thunder and just adds it to the hammer. So the hammer itself is just a mighty strong hammer that can beat the shit out of stuff. Um, from any and all stories I've ever read, I have never seen where the hammer is anything but that. 
Sorry, I ended up working 11 hours last night, so I'm still a little tired. But that was how Thor lost his hammer and was married to a frost giant for less than a day. The marriage, at least. It took him about a week or so to get his hammer back. Give or take them talking to the other gods. So, roughly maybe two weeks? I don't know. But, uh, yeah. That actually has to be one of my favorite stories. Or in a dress. I will try reading more at least once a week to you guys. So, uh, with that, have a good one. Blessed be.